very good morning students i hope that you all are well at your homes so students let's start our class today we are today we are going to start uh, completing the rest of the portion of our computer so we'll uh, study computer today open your computer book chapter 6 which was left of your uh, syllabus term 1 syllabus So, open chapter six, formatting text in MS Word 2010, page number seventy-nine. Good morning, Nina. Page number seventy-nine. Chapter six, formatting text in MS Word 2010, page number seventy-nine. So, here in this chapter, talking about. Let me share ebook with you all. So, students, as you can see on your screen over here, Chapter Six, Formatting Text in MS Word. So, let's start uh, reading this chapter. In this chapter, we will study about formatting text. Changing font type, changing font size, changing font color, changing font style, aligning text, bullet and numbering, border shading. Here we'll understand about, try to learn about all these things. In our previous chapter, you have studied how to edit text in MS Word 2010. But to make the text more attractive and colorful, we have to format it. For in previous chapter, we studied about how to make a, a MS Word sheet. In this chapter, we'll try to understand about how to make it more beautiful, colorful, and stylish like this. Formatting text. formatting text means changing the appearance of text in a document you can change appearance of text by changing font size color and style let us learn different formatting features provided by ms word 2010 so here formatting means kya hota what is the meaning of formatting to changing the appearance of text in a document now changing font type start reading is first from here changing font type changing font type font type refers to the shape and look of the text to change the font type follow the steps 1 select the text 2 click the home tab 3 click the drop down arrow of the font list box times new roman in the font group 4 choose the appropriate font face from the drop down list changing font size font size refers to the size of the text to change the font size follow the steps 1 select the text 2 click the home tab 3 click the drop down arrow of the font size box 14 in the font group 4 choose the appropriate font size from the drop down list box and click it to apply changing the font color font color refers to the color of the text to change the font color follow the steps 1 select the text 2 click the home tab 3 click the drop down arrow of the font color box a in the font group 4 Choose the appropriate font color from the drop-down list. Stop. Anna, for now, start reading. Changing font style. Changing font style. Font color refers to the color of the text. To change the front color, follow the steps. Changing First, font style. Select the text. Not color. You have to read from changing font style, not color. 
Yes, ma'am. Using the feature, you can add border and shading to change the appearance appearance of the text. To apply border, follow the step. Select the text, click the home tab, 
like the drop down arrow of the border button in the paragraph. Group a list of option appear. Select border and shading option. The border shading dialog box appears. Click the shading app. Sorry, click the border app. Click the box option under the setting section. Select the lines, color, and width under the style section. From the apply to top down list box, select the, select the appropriate option. Click OK to apply changes. To apply shading, follow the steps. Select the text, click the home tab, click the drop down arrow or the border button in the paragraph. Group as a, a list of options appears, select border and shading option. The border shading dialog box appears. Click the shading tab, set the des des desired color from the fill box, text style and color under the pattern section. From the applied drop down list box, select the option ap appropriate option. Click OK to apply changes. Okay, this chapter is done now. So this chapter, uh, we studied that how to apply different types of styles, different types of changes on our MS Word. So let me show you that how to, let me explain this, how to add these uh, styles and these things in our MS Word. For this, let me open one MS Word file in front of you all. Topic is, so students, I hope you all can see this screen over here. So here in this uh, in this option in this MS Word sheet, this is MS Word 2010, and this in MS Word sheet will try to understand, try to put all these uh, formatting options on our this MS Word sheet. Okay. Let me show you how to put all these. Uh, Options, all these formatting, how to do all these formatting on our MS Word. So here you can see some sentences are written. So for first option is how uh, changing font type. How to change font type? For changing the font type, we just have to select the font like this. We are selected now, and for changing the font, font ki style change karni hai. You see other type of font we want with some other type of font. Then in that, we just have to move to here. Home tab, text font. Caliber body is written here, as you can see. Can you see that? Caliber body is written here. In a file, select yes. some another font, like uh, if I'm selecting this. Ma'am, I cannot see screen. You can see. Dishab, can you see the screen? Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Uh, there is some network issue on your side. Aradhya? Maybe you have this, uh, maybe some yeah. kind of network issue. Again, I'm sharing the screen over here. Here you can see, I've already changed the... Yes, ma'am. The screen is clear. I have already changed the uh, design, the font style of this sentence. As you can see, we just for changing this, we just have to select it, and from here, we'll just we have to select any of the options, whatever we want to. Now, if I take this, the font style is changed, it's different. For changing the font style, we just have to click here, and from here, we can select any type of font style. Arushi, just do not touch the screen, please. I hope you understood that. Now, Adhika, off your mic, do not uh, on your mic. If you want to ask something, then in that case, just on your mic. Otherwise, do not on your mic. This is the way to change the font style. Font size, how to change the size. For changing the size, is uh, 24 is written here, you can see. 
Here, from here, we can change the style. Change the size of our font size. Understand? Next, font size I told you. Next option is changing the font color. How to change the font color? You can see over here is the option for changing the font color. Here you can see font color is written. Change the text color. So for changing this, I have changed it into red color. I have to select it and then a drop down list will come. And from here, I can change it in any color. You can see it is changed for changing the font color. Now, font style. How to change font style? For font style, we just have, we have three options. Bold, italic and underline. These are the three options. These are. It's changing this, we just have to select it. If we want to take it bold, it is bold now. It is bold. You can see, bold means dark. Now it is lighter. Now it is bold. Now here if we we'll click, it will become italic. Here if we we'll click, it will become underlined. Understand? These are the three options. With the help of these three, we can change the style. Next is align text. There is one more shortcut. Control plus if I will not click here, I will just control plus B. Then it will become bold. Control plus I. It will become italic. Control plus U. It will underline. Understand? Next, align text. How to align text? If my text is uh, not aligned properly, so for if it is like somehow in a different place, not in proper way it is written. So for this, we just have to select if some words, some sentences are written here and there. For align them in a proper place, we just have to select them. And here you can see in paragraph option, home tab paragraph option, you can see Align, some options are given, four align options. If I click here, it will select it like this, like this, and like this. Understand? This is called alignment. It is aligned now. I hope you understood that also. Control plus L and Control plus E and Control plus R and Control plus J. These are these following are the shortcuts. Bullets and numbering. How to add bullets and numbering? If I have written one, two, three, four, five sentences, and I want to add some bullets, I want to add some numbers, one, two, three, like this. So for this, I have to select them, and I then I will go here. Here you can see the option of bullets and numbering in paragraph group, bullet button. You can see these are the bullet buttons. Here we have, when I will click here, it will give us some more options for bullets and numbering. It, it, it is bullet. Okay, bullet are here. And if I want to put some numbers, some designs, I can see here. Some numbers or ABC, if I want to put, you can see here. ABC. One, two, three, four, without blanks, blanks, one, two, three, with brackets, capital A. These all are called bullets and numbering. Now, border and shading. How to put border and shading? So, for, for putting uh, border and shading, you just have to select a text. Just go to the home tab and drop down list. You can see. Border and shading option through the border and shading, we can add all, all the lines, mini lines, and uh, here is the drop down. You can see border and shading option is here. You can see the border is over here in the center. Again, we have how can we take this? We have to go here, click the drop down list. It will appear border and shading option is here. You just have to click here. 
Thoughts. I hope you understood that. How to put border and shading for shading it. You just have to click here. Like I have selected it. Now I'll click here. Border and shading. You go to the shading option. You can see here. I'll just select any color. And you can see it is shaded. That color is changed. Again, if I want to change, just go here, shading option, select any color and OK. Color is changed of this particular sentence. So I hope you understood that, how, how to add these styles, how to format our MS Word text. Now move to the exercise of this chapter. I hope you understood that. If you have any doubt, then you can ask me. Do you have any doubt? Any doubt, the students? No, ma'am. Okay. Now, no, ma no, ma exercise of this chapter. Fill in the blanks. Changing the appearance of text in a document is called. Can tell me. Mm -hmm. Now formatting text. Yes, it's formatting. Only formatting is sufficient. Please off your mic, Advika. Formatting. Number two. Before formatting the text, it should be dash. Font. Font. Selected. Next, font color box is found in Arushi of your mic, please. Mute yourself. Font color box is found in dash group of the font tab. Font. Found in font tab. Font group. Number four, we differentiate. We differentiate each item in a list by adding bullets and numbering. Bullets and numbering. Next, number five. Dash feature helps you to enhance the appearance of the text. Border and shading. Border and shading. Move to the true and false of this chapter. It is possible to format the text using various features of MS Word. This is true. The keyboard shortcut to make text bold is Control plus R. No, Control plus B for making it bold. Bold, B for bold. Bold, what is the shortcut? Shortcut is control plus B. So this option, this question is false. Justify alignment means the text is aligned from both sides. True. Alignment buttons are found in the font group of the home tab. It's false. In MS Word, the border and shading features help you to create list. It's false. I hope you all have done this, these exercises. Move to the next exercise, which is fill in the blanks. Have you all completed? Yes, ma'am. Now move to the next exercise, which is match the following. To underline text, what is the shortcut to underline text? The shortcut of underline text is control plus U. U for underline. Control plus U. To align the text to center is control plus. 
to justify text is control plus d to make the text italic control plus i justify text is control plus j to align to the center is control plus e and to align the text to the left is control plus l so these are the answers of exercise i'll send you all the question and answers on your whatsapp group separately after this class have you all completed yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, ma yes, ma if you have related to the chapter then you can ask me here no ma'am no ma'am okay ma'am i hope you all have completed all the exercises i'll send you all the question answers on your whatsapp group separately and our uh, syllabus of computer will be completed after this chapter and tomorrow is your uh, oral test so be ready for that students for that's all for today's class will be tomorrow okay ma'am okay ma'am ma'am bye ma'am yes, bye ma'am